All right, now I hit record for real. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so GW sent us, free of charge, um, a box of Kill Team Nightmare. I've got it here. We're going to pick it apart, and then I'm, I'm going to mail some of it to Travis. Um, so this Ooh, is the yeah. Nightmare box. Um, I haven't opened it at all yet. Um, nice. It's an unboxing video. Yes. What are your first impressions? Uh, I like the box art for this one. I think Mandrakes, like, can you put it back up? I think the Mandrakes are kind of like front and center, which is nice. Yeah. Because I don't think Mandrakes have really gotten... Mandrakes were there in the old edition, right? I, from what I remember. And yeah. the Night Lords look pretty good. Nice box art. Nice glossy. I think and it's a than the Salvation box. one. Because the Salvation box was pretty thin, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was yeah. like half it looks as like thick. looks like double the size, right? This is a very thick box, yeah. All right, well, let's um, see. I mean, which, I, from yeah. what I remember, the terrain pieces for this are pretty large. Yeah, is there more than one? I th well, there's the one big one, like, I, you know, because obviously we're, we'll be releasing this on uh, release date. So there's the one new piece of terrain that goes into the water for In the Dark and basically expands the play area. And I think it kind of, like, bridges an entire water section on the part of Beta Decima where you have three lanes. So it's a pretty big piece of terrain, but I can't imagine that this box is just taking up all that space for one piece of terrain. I could be wrong though. I do see, you know, three things that look like terrain at a All glance. Right. Oh, it is it is actually one gigantic piece of terrain. <laughs> yeah, so this is like the top of the terrain piece, which is just a huge thing all on its own. Uh it looks like there's not even any like clipping or anything. Like this is just yeah, already yeah, yeah, ready yeah. to go. The, well, no, no cuz it has the there's an extra layer that you put around the edge and that's what sits in the that's what you climb around. I think there are like yeah, specific then, notes this is going to be like a f this you'll clip to make like the the part that that sits on top of mm -hmm. so i think it's um a sprue plus like the terrain top is just like a model um we, i mean we could take a closer look and see if i will say just as like a, a thing for this box and this terrain specifically for narrative players that i think is cool is unlike into the dark where into the dark you could only add on so much of the terrain before it got a little bit weird this one they have a lot more freedom like i think i don't think any of us were really expecting to get a piece of terrain that's going to cover up an entire part of the map and make it a physical part of the map right yeah that's a pretty radical rework to the to the map there to have that much added uh space to move around on and you know the top of it is very dynamic so it seems like if you have a conceal order in there you're going to be hidden and if that's considered heavy train, which I haven't looked at the rules for the train, um, it would be super easy to just sneak around. I think on the outer edges, there are specific rules about how you can actually get cover on those outer edges, and you're not allowed to get too much cover on those outer edges. But you can kind of play it like open, where your a toe will get you cover as long as it cuts around the corner of the silo, if I remember correctly. So it is pretty playable, and I do think that like the the unfortunate part is that there's only going to be so many copies of this. Because from what I understand, all these boxes are like one and done prints from GW. So like, if this piece of terrain does help the beta decima terrain a lot, this is the only way you can get it. Which means there's just not enough of them. Yeah. But I am looking forward to like, this box has a, a rule that's getting added for swimming. And I think swimming will also be a nice way to add on to how much playable space there is for beta decima. Because swimming under gantry is now allowed. And when you're swimming, you're in cover. You're in cover. You Is can't do melee actions cover? and you can't shoot. I think it's just light cover. So you like, if you're swimming through the water and you're on the ground, you can't get shot because you're in cover and you're, but like if someone is on top of a vantage, you can shoot into the water at people. So I actually think like adding a whole extra layer of like movement, I actually think that may actually help. And then you could like swim underneath a, swim underneath a gantry and then climb up. So it could actually be nice to get that as a basic rule for Beta Decima. We haven't played on it yet, so I don't know. We don't. But maybe we can try to get some uh, play experience on it, and yes. then uh, get back to everybody. But you know, first first impressions. It is a pretty large, chunky piece of terrain. Jason, you've got the sprues, so you know, give this it the is... honorary taste test for the mandrakes. How do they taste? Yeah, this is uh, one of the mandrakes. It looks like it's going to be some of the specialists. 
Um, <laughs> tastes uh, like it's out of this world. It's a whole other dimension. Oh man, warp, it's warp tainted. Warp tainted misery like I've never tasted before. Uh, it tastes right, like the Mandrake. meta's in danger. Yeah, and these are these are gonna be brand. This is like a, the brand new sprues, right? Is the mandrakes because mandrakes are a pretty old kit at this point. Yeah, like they haven't been in plastic ever until now. Um, the this looks like two copies of the same sprue. Yeah, yeah, it does. So this is yeah. probably similar to the striking scorpions that came out in Salvation, where they are where there's duplicate sprues. I think all the way down. Yeah, so it's like a duplicate, and then this smaller one. For the specialists. Yeah, for the specialists. Which means that the Shade Weaver, the portal maker, he's part of the basic sprue. Um, I think this is... It looks like this is only enough to add one more model onto this. Mm-hmm. So is it an 8-man... So it's an 8-man plus one extra? Uh, What's the squad they give size? Us exactly nine? I don't know. That looks like one... Two, three, four. Maybe they did give us exactly nine. Eight. Okay. What's, well, what's that's the squad size in Big Hammer. Is it? Is it not just like five man squads? I don't know. Let's see. I can pull up these instructions in a second too. Um, and then of course all the bases. Nothing too crazy Man, here. Oh, there's great. another. There's another one of these that was floating in there. Ah. Uh, oh, and this is a different. This is a different upgrade sprue. So this one. Yeah, it looks like the minimum or like the minimum squat size is five or ten. So. Yeah. So. Oh no, this, they're dupes. This does look like the same. Okay. All right. So it's just four or two pairs. Yeah. Two pairs for the mandrakes, and that gets you, I assume, up to ten. Yeah. So that looks like it'll be ten. Cool, um, cool. Yeah, it would be weird if it was nine and, and Big Hammer wanted squads of five. People would be very upset. Yeah, so it looks like t a whole a whole squad of ten, which is kind of what we expected. The rules will only give players nine, so you'll have one bonus. Yes, one flex spot, even though uh, it doesn't look... Um, I only kind of glanced through the Mandrake rules. I think the leader has exactly one loadout, so... Yeah, it's <laughs> just like you... It, uh, so Mandrakes, I think, are going to be a one-box team. Like, you're not yeah, going to swap your specialists. There's no. Yeah. There's only one loadout for your leader. There's only one loadout for each specialist. There's only one loadout for the warriors. And so you and just I need. I don't think you would ever attack. switch a warrior out for one of the specialists because you need all of them. I think. Yeah. So. Um, and then there's more sprues in here, of course, uh, for all my Night Lord fans out there. This oh yeah. Is, Crispy plastic night lords. This is the the regular legionary sprue, I think. Mm -hmm. The lighting is way better coming at me than against me, so I'm gonna join you all on this side. Um, yeah, I think this is like the normal legionary sprue entirely. Which Ooh, I think it tastes is what like ultra violence. Um, ultra violence. Let's find out. Oh yeah, there's. It tastes like uh, flayed skin. <laughs> flayed um, skin and the puppeteer of the corpse emperor, perhaps. This is the Night Lord's upgrade sprue. So we've got a, a ton of heads here. Um, yeah, so like, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is uh, 11. There's at least oh. uh, 12. Fully oh dang! Heads. Okay, and so one are... one set of these can probably get you to extend out a normal squad, also, right? So like, this is gonna be a hot topic for or a hot item for any Night Lord fans. Yeah, so there's a there's all the helmeted heads you could ever want. It looks like there's even variety. There's like a few other like options for heads up here. Looks like the specialists, um, the dude, the Terror Chem guy, head mm -hmm. is like up here. Um, there's another hooded one. Uh, maybe this is the uh, the lightning claws dude head is like kind of in the middle here. Um, and then you've got the giant uh, two handed chain glaive thing, the scoped pistol. Are we? How are we feeling about? Are is there any assembly on the heads, or are they just like one crispy piece of plastic with the wings attached? 
it looks like it's all just one piece of plastic and there's no assembly on the heads which uh i'm Sounds a fan of really that nice. where are the uh how are the mold lines looking for the heads um it's kind of dark in here <laughs> um but it doesn't look too bad uh i mean this looks really good okay nice Um, yeah, this looks like a solid upgrade kit. You got all the shoulders, you got the heads, the extra weapons. Um, you've got the dead guy on a stick, which is going to be... Oh, yeah, everyone's corner. favorite new new piece. It's very, uh, Minnesota State Fair. Put everything on a stick. You could you could paint them fried too if you really wanted to ramp it up a little bit. Yep, yep. Um, is the legionary sprue normally three like this? I think it comes with ten guys normally. So, um, so this one is like a the bunch heavy weapons of, maybe. This is a bunch of pistols and bolt rifles. Yeah, so that you can build all the warriors. I think. Because I think the legionaries have the ability to switch between bolt gun guys, which I don't think are generally worth doing. You'll take one maybe on a on an icon bear if you wanted another backline specialist with tainted rounds, but yeah, you can I, do ten guys. I don't think the the knight the nemesis claw icon can even. I think it is fixed with a pistol and chainsword. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we got the power mall on there. There's two plasma pistols on here. I don't remember if the other sprue had that, but if this is just like a repeat of that, then then it does, and I just didn't remember. Yeah, honestly, I don't know because I haven't actually used it. Um, yeah, but this is definitely a new sprue with the. Uh, the I mean, it's got all the heads, which I think is. A big one, right? Because the legionary sprue is flexible enough where it can do a lot of heavy lifting. I think I gave I gave a friend a box of legionaries when he first started playing Kill Team, and he basically built a whole legionary kill team without any upgrade sprue. And then when he started playing, he's like, "I'm gonna buy all the Death Guard parts so I can build another team that's Death Guard." But like, the box by itself is already enough for you to play legionary. You don't need any upgrade sprue really. Outside of, I think, the Psyker, because there's no, like, Psychic can, And that is the literal basic... <laughs> that is the basic Legionary decal sheet. It is, yeah. It comes with, like, any other Legionary. So, I mean, I guess you could make Nemesis Claw of any chapter if you really wanted. Um, and then Alpha there... Alpha Legion. There was something rattling in here. I don't know if this was just, like, packaging or... What is this? Oh, yeah, this just busted up pieces of sprue. All right. And then there's the, uh, there's a whole other little box within oh, a box. Oh, yeah. This is the, all the tokens and stuff. Oh, this is a nice looking okay, box. So it's got a, it's got a latch. Open. You've got your, you've got more art up here. Oh, my God. We got all the data cards. Yeah, the new index cards. I think these ones are only in the paired boxes, which is, so this will be. I'm sure you can find these on eBay afterward, after the box comes out too, for all the big hammer people that buy the box that just are selling stuff. So, yep, so but it looks like it comes in nice packaging. So, um, yeah. So these are the the cards, the attack up decks, and your everything actually. Yeah, all your like ploys and everything. Um, so just kind of popping over. And then there should be a token sheet, I think. Yeah, for each one. Is... So one of them, there's also a key. So one of these is actually the key for your pop-out tokens. So looking pretty yeah, good. So your ploys, equipment, um, your ability, the token guide key, um, your faction tack ops, and they have that for both. So that was the legionary is the one that I just kind of popped open first. I mean, the nemesis claw. The nemesis claw. Uh, and is the Mandrake Kill Team have a name that isn't just Mandrake Kill Team? I already forgot. Uh -huh. Honestly. <laughs> Everyone calls go. them Mandrakes, and then when you're scrolling, like, if you um, flip through the book, it's just like, oh, here's the Mandrakes. Yeah, I think they do have a name. Let me, let me bring it up. Or oh, it might even show up on those cards. Find it. 
It is uh, the Mandrake. Oh no, it's the Mandrake Kill Team. Yeah, that's that, that's why <laughs> it's it called the Mandrake Kill Team. Hilarious. Oh, this doesn't want to go back in the box. There we go. Um, yep, and then the uh, the data cards here. Rule book. And then there should also be the tokens. Uh, yes, pretty sure that's in here. I think all these data cards are in one pile. Oh, and they're just like they're yeah. flip flopped, shuffled together. Mmm. But yeah, so here's nice. all the data cards. Sort those out. All right. In a minute. And we'll be splitting up the box. So me and Jason are gonna race to paint the two teams before release day. Yes. The build instructions here. Here's the tokens. Oh, and they're even color coded. Nice. Yeah, so there's, there's front back. Double sided. For everyone's pleasure. And the double sided Nemesis Claw. The Nemesis Claw ones look look pretty sick actually. Yeah. And then the actual book itself. Yep, uh, seems pretty standard. Um, it's like just under 100 pages. Yeah, I think the big stuff for this one is the rules for the terrain, at least for outside of the actual like team rules, because I do kind of think that giving more play space and more cover to the actual terrain set will probably go a long way to making Beta Decima feel a little bit less linear, because right now it does feel very much like this is the only way I can do stuff. It is unfortunately part of the narrative twists, so I don't actually know if they want people to be swimming normally, but I I kind of think that swimming might actually help a lot. Yeah, I don't think all the stuff that's like the ladders modeled on should just be like remove one circle from the climb tax to get up here. Um, so like I've heard people saying like give people like climbing equipment or like free climbing equipment. I don't think just building it into the terrain. It's like if the terrain brought the problem, the terrain will bring the solution. And it has yeah. ladders modeled on it already. That's so. true. That's true. Not, the The layout of those ladders is randomized on some level. But I do think that like swimming would be kind of hot. And like this, this, uh, this map. This thing literally covers amazing. up like the majority of the water and just adds a whole bunch of playable space to the terrain. Yeah, and then like swimming underneath those platforms is like no one's gonna get an angle on you down there. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I kind of think that this. I, like the thing is the terrain block i don't think everyone's gonna get access to because they're printing it once and it's gone but i do think that swimming could be maybe added in as like a basic feature to beta decima and that would it would give melee more more ways to approach while still staying in cover you know yeah because uh, a felgor with two retained saves that swims out into the ocean that is a threat like you you might be able to get shot but you have more obscuring angles and if you swim underneath a gantry you can at least be obscured right you're not forced into these stupid uh valley lanes yes and for shooting teams at least you can shoot at them like you might not necessarily kill them outside of the plasma shots but at least you can do something on the way up which i think would be nice yeah it's way more like interactive both ways yeah Cool. Well, that is everything that is in this box. Yeah, I think we'll be attaching. This will be our unboxing part of the video. We'll be appending this at a later date for our model review, I guess. Or maybe we'll these maybe we'll these just come out one by one. I think we'll just let's just shove everything into one long video. So this will be the intro to our video. We'll do our model reviews afterwards after we have everything built and painted, and uh, talk about the the rules. Yes. Stay tuned we've, for that. We've played a couple rounds. We have. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, my first impression of the Night Lord of the Nemesis Claw is that it is pretty solid. Um, it's It has my interest. The, it's got a lot of stuff that I like about other legionary i mean like the the extra movement from corn um and then you know the delay people's activations and delay your own activations is like an, a unique mechanic and i think that is very strong very interesting yeah i'm expecting that the teams will be quite good uh mandrix definitely shine i think on in the dark just because there is far more shadow that's usable 
And on open, they do they were harder to use than I expected. I do feel like they have lots of crazy rules. So, and we definitely we think we play like three games, and I feel like every game I was like, oh man, I'm missing something else important. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, I don't think they're going to immediately, like, break or ruin the game, um, and their rules seem super flavorful and very cool and very unique, and I'm very excited about both teams. Yeah, me here. Same here. Alrighty. Well, I will 